Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to DIY some of your kids back to school things so you can easily have customized expensive looking DIY projects that are for your kids and sending them back to school. Also, there's some great organizational things and even some teacher's gifts in this video. And we're all doing it with the Cricut Maker. Now, if you don't have a Cricut Maker, it's okay because you can use the Cricut Joy, you can use the Cricut Explorer Air, you can use any of the Cricut machines that you have because all of these are very simple vinyl projects. And I personally love working with vinyl. I'm also a Cricut Maker and I'm a beginner and you know, what? I love working with vinyl, so that's what I'm sticking to. And uh, these projects are for you guys. Now for today's project, we are going to be taking some inexpensive dollar store school supplies, and we are going to be personalizing and even making some teacher's gifts. Now for my Cricut supplies, I'm going to be using some Cricut vinyl and my cutting mat, and of course my Cricut cutting tools that you see here. In addition to this, I'm also going to be using Cricut's design space, where I'm going to be designing my project that is personalized, especially for me and for the materials and the items that I'm going to be making today. I'm going to be using just a simple base uh, text project. And what we're going to be doing is creating categories for my four folders. I'm creating a homework station that I can give to my next door neighbors and they can use this for their child. And what we're going to do is create a station where math and English and reading and all the assignments can be stationed and completed. Kids come home with a lot of homework these days, and this is a great way to keep it organized to know exactly what's done, what needs to be done, and, um, you know, sometimes even celebrate some of the kudos or some of the well-dones. You can really create any categories and any labels you want for your folders with the Cricut Maker because everything that you're doing is really customizing and completing your own project. Now, the only thing I did was change that one word to all done. Now I'm gonna go through and just make sure that my vinyl is properly prepped. I'm gonna cut down a piece of vinyl using my Cricut cutter here, and I'm just going to cut it down for it to be the exact size of my standard grip mat. Once that's cut, I'm gonna load my mat up and then I'm I'm going to finish following the prompts on the design space and we are going to start cutting. It is that easy to cut and create with the Cricut machines. Now, after everything was cut, I'm going to go ahead and just remove this excess vinyl that's on the bottom here. I'm going to do that because I can save that and I can use that for another project. All I'm going to do is just take my Cricut scissors here, just cut along the edge and just completely remove that. That way it's out of the way. And then when I start weeding, because these words are actually pretty large, I can go ahead and weed um, kind of in bulk. I like to do this sometimes. and it's, it's actually very rewarding. I will just take my tool there and I will just start to weed away any of that vinyl and uh, as you can see the letters it's kind of hard to see because it is white glossy and uh, you know, it's a white background there but uh, you'll see in just a minute that the letters really start to pop out as I'm just kind of weeding away any of that excess vinyl that I'm not going to be using for the actual project itself. Now I have already kind of laid these out and spaced these out so I'm really maximizing that vinyl and uh, there's not a lot of it that's going to go to waste, which is great, especially when you're doing a project like this. You know, you want to be able to use as much of that vinyl as you can. Now that I've got everything pretty much weeded, I can now take my transfer tape. And uh, actually what I did was I cut each individual word out. Again, I know it's really hard to see. I'm so sorry about that with the white lettering, but you'll see once it once it's uh, on the folders, it does make a lot more sense. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this little excess piece here. I don't really need that. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take these individual words because these are or individual letters or words. No, they're words. And uh, <laughs> ironic, I'm creating back to school pieces and I probably should go back to school myself. Now I've got transfer tape here and this transfer tape is going just right over the top of everything. And uh, I am doing that. That way I can put the individual words 
on each individual folder. So I'm going to take my tool here and I'm just going to scrape across the top here. We're just going to make sure that all that transfer tape is adhered and that it is really, really sticking to my vinyl. That way, when I peel it up, like you see here, I can really take it with me and transfer this word to my folder. And I'm gonna use my scissors here. I'm just gonna lightly score across the top here. And uh, that will actually help and give me kind of individual pieces of tape, if you will. This uh, transfer tape is actually reused from a previous project. And it's great because it still is nice and sticky, but it's not gonna be so sticky that it's gonna stick to those plastic folders. And that's something that I really do love about the Cricut transfer tape. You can really reuse the transfer tape a lot of different ways, or at least a couple different ways. Now, as you can see, my words came off really, really easily. And now I'm just going to take my tool once again, and I am just going to go over the parts that I want to transfer. And literally just kind of tracing those letters. And as you can see, you peel away the transfer tape and you've got your design on your folder. So this one is for English. And then boom, eventually I am all done because I did this with all four of my project folders. And I've got a great little homework station that my neighbor can use for their child. I love this because you can put your math, your reading, your completed projects, everything all in one central location. And what's great is all of this vinyl is removable so you can update it as your child grows. For my next project, I went back into Design Space and I found this image in Design Space that I really, really loved and thought that this would be the perfect addition to a folder. And uh, I loved journaling when I was in school and I loved having a journal. I'm sure a lot of you had a journal as well. Well, we are going to take a three ring notebook and we are going to turn it into our journal. And uh, for this one, I literally am just unlocking that design. I'm spacing it out and kind of making it the right size that is perfect for me. I'm following all the prompts on Design Space and I am just going to town with the Cricut Maker and printing on that bright yellow beautiful vinyl. Again, what's great about this vinyl is that this is removable vinyl. So if I end up not journaling or I want to do something else with this folder at some point, I can. I'm just going to take my weeding tool here and I'm going to start weeding away. And once again, because I am using kind of a bolder level Better choice or a bolder design choice, the weeding is a little easier to do. And as you can see, it's coming across or coming off of here pretty nicely. Now, the border that was kind of around this, I actually didn't want that. I just wanted to go with the letters. So again, this worked out perfectly. I have some leftover transfer tape. I told you this stuff is reusable, so it's great. I'm just going to apply it on top of my design there. I'm going to take my tool and my scraper and just really go back and forth over top of that bright yellow vinyl just to make sure that everything is good and adhered to that transfer tape. That way my design can transfer very, very easily over to the notebook that I'm going to be putting this on. I don't know if you noticed, but I have that bright purple, beautiful notebook there on the left hand corner by my pinky. And I think that this bright yellow is going to look really, really great on there. So once I've got everything all ready to go with the transfer. I literally just take it and transfer it over to the purple notebook. And then once again, all I'm doing is going over this design and making sure that everything is nice and adhered and stuck down to that purple folder. And, uh, you know, I like to take that transfer tape and I really, really use my tool there and just make sure that I go over it a lot. It makes life so much easier. And when you take away that transfer tape, you've got a very cool custom notebook that was literally a dollar because I had the Cricut materials on site. Now I'm going to make something for Mrs. Brown. That is my next door neighbor's teacher. And uh, we're going to do something for Mrs. Brown's classroom door. Now I found this school image that I really loved in design space. And once again, I'm just going to kind of customize this and make this my own because 
I can take the school, I can resize it, I can take the lettering, I can con control the font, I can really size this up and down, I can move it left and right, and I'm just gonna kind of play around with it, and then I am going to highlight all of this and weld it together, that way it does print all together in one design. I'm gonna be using this burgundy vinyl because fall, back to school time, it's coming, it is literally right around the corner, and I want to do something that, you know, Mrs. Brown can keep on her classroom door for quite a while. And uh, once again, after everything has come out, I'm going to start weeding away any of those kind of uh, pieces that you don't really need in your design. I love weeding, this is so therapeutic, and it is actually really, really easy once you get the hang of it. I definitely am getting much better at weeding than when I first started my Cricut journey. And uh, I love working with these designs that are pretty easy to weed and kind of, you know, it's weeding. You're weeding out all of this excess design. So once I've got that done, I am going to apply some transfer tape and I am going to then transfer this over to my wooden disc. Now, that wooden disc I picked up at my local dollar store. And again, I am just going to literally transfer this over. Now, my original intention was that everything would just transfer over at one time, but I didn't like the way that the Mrs. Brown was centered. It, it wasn't as centered as I wanted it to be. So I just cut my transfer tape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put the school and that little school desk that's on the side of it and, uh, transfer that onto my wood disc like so and it is so easy it comes off extremely easy and then i'm going to do the same with the mrs brown part of it and i'm just going to make sure that that's nice and centered and looks really good on that wood disc and once i've got that in a good place then i'm going to take my spatula once again and my weeding tools and i'm just going to start to rub all of this down and make sure that everything is stuck down and transferred onto that wood disc disc. And then once it's all done, I added a decorative ribbon. I went in with just some little touch-ups and you've got the absolute cutest door hanger for Mrs. Brown's classroom. Everybody that knows Mrs. Brown will love this and everybody will know that this is Mrs. Brown's classroom. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed these projects today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Also, if you're one of my subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you're a long-term subscriber, you know I have a special name for you. I call you guys my OGs, my original gang. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you're brand new to the channel, hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe. All right, guys, take care. Bye.